cirrhosis of the liver. Our lab values to um, look for are increased ESCOT or increased LDH. So those are some of our indicators of cirrhosis. What is happening is our tissue has finally, um, it's in the final stages and it's become so damaged that it starts to scar. The scar tissue actually can cause irreversible damage. What will happen is the scar tissue will cause even some of the circulation systems to basically reroute, putting a lot of pressure um, on other veins, which can make them uh, actually thinner and can cause hemorrhage. Um, can cause obstruction of the portal vein because of that scar tissue, um, and we'll see fluid in the peritoneal cavity as well. You will see um, in cirrhosis, 15% of them will be heavy drinkers. Alcohol plays a huge part of cirrhosis. So what do we do nutritionally, or what are some signs and symptoms we might see? Weight loss, nausea, vomiting, decreased appetite, possibly even malnutrition. Um, protein balance is a little bit of a juggle. We want to make sure they have enough protein so their liver can heal and build up those tissues, but at the same time we don't want to give them too much because we know the liver is what makes ammonia go to urea and we, when our liver is damaged it can't do that, ammonia levels rise. So, um, KCALs are typically around two to 3,000 calories. Um, that might vary. You might see kcals per kilogram as a good reference point. Uh, varices or that, um, that increased pressure, right, or enlarged veins. Um, you might see esophageal varices where it's actually the vein going to the esophagus and it, it gets enlarged because our reroute of veins because of the scar tissue, uh, scar tissue on the liver. So that's how that's all connected. Um, we do know that uh, we do have some disruptions in pyruvate. We know glycogen is not being restored, so that is the reason why you might see these patients become hypoglycemic. So we know glycogen is stored in the liver, broken down to glucose. We don't have that happening. We don't get that glucose, hypoglycemic. All right. Um, also with alcohol, that can cause um, some decreased absorption issues. It can cause some metabolism issues. So we want to take a look at some of the vitamins and minerals and possible deficiencies. Um, we know with alcohol, B1 or thiamine is a, um, or can be an issue. We see Wernicke's sy sy syndrome with that. And um, we can even see dementia in these patients because now um, some of these toxic things are not getting filtered through by the liver um, and are going to the brain. So that is liver cirrhosis in a nutshell.